good morning now today let us take some examples for uh, peterson olefination so we are continuing with uh, peterson peterson olefination okay look at here Here is a SiMe3. Okay, here you can see that uh, this is a broken bond. That means, uh, okay, and here is also OH. And you can see that uh, here this bond is like this OH. Here is uh, OH. And here you can see that another uh, group like uh, OCH2 uh, 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 ring. Okay, suppose this is the compound, and uh, the, when you are looking at the compound, it may be uh, a little bit complex. And uh, now, when this compound is treated with uh, uh, one sodium hydride NaH, okay, then what could be the uh, product? And uh, suppose if the same compound is treated with uh, uh, HF, uh, uh, HF in presence of uh, uh, water, uh, what will be the product? And uh, of course, uh, you know, know that uh, when you look at the reagent, you can see that this is sodium hydride, this is a base. And uh, when you look at the substrate structure, you can see that uh, this is a SiMe3 and uh, OH beta hydroxy uh, silane uh, compound. That means uh, definitely this is a beta hydroxy silane. Uh, structure and uh, this beta hydroxy silane is treating with uh, sodium hydride and this is a base and uh, in the second case uh, uh, the same compound beta hydroxy silane is treated with uh, acid okay and you know that uh, when beta hydroxy silane is treated with a base it will undergo syn elimination so i am uh, writing for the mechanism of the first one here what we are uh, writing, when it is treated with a base, NaOH means this is base, NaOH is base, that means treatment of uh, beta hydroxy silane with a base, you can see that uh, again I am writing the same structure, okay, I am showing only this part, okay, that is enough, and here you can see that uh, uh, SiMe3, and here it is uh, OH, okay, and here it is uh, uh, OH. Okay, you can see that uh, here is uh, beta uh, hydroxyl group is here and here also in the beta position there is a OH group. There are two uh, beta hydroxyl group and uh, when it is treated with a base we know that uh, syn elimination will occur. When it is treating with a base syn elimination will occur that means uh, for syn elimination the SiMe3 group and the OH must be on the same plane. Then only what will happen? The vacant uh, d orbital of Si can interact with the uh, lone pair electron of uh, oxygen. Okay, so for syn elimination, Si, Me3, and OH must be at the same plane. That means uh, these two, these two will uh, undergo elimination reaction when you are treating with a base because. Here you can see that this SiMe3 and OH both are above the plane. Okay, both are represented by broken bond. That means these two are on the same plane. That means this SiMe3 and OH will undergo elimination when you are treating with a base. Then what is the mechanism when you treat with a base? NaH, that means Na plus and H minus. This H minus abstracts proton from OH and minus H2. And what we get the rest of the part I am not showing here and we get a structure like this here it is uh, this OH there is no change as it is OH and here you can see that here it is uh, uh, SiMe3 SiMe3 and here you can see that here it is uh, O minus O minus okay and in the next step what will happen as we are discussed yesterday what will happen this O minus or you can see that the vacant uh, orbital d orbital of si will interact with the lone pair electron of oxygen lone pair electron of oxygen that means uh, here it will interact that means this lone pair of electron is uh, uh, donated to the vacant d orbital of si and we get a penta coordinator intermediate a penta coordinator intermediate like this okay here it is uh, oh there is no change here it is oh and here you can see that uh, here it is a uh, SI 
and here it is uh, M E three S I M E three and uh, O. Okay, this is a penta coordinated structure, a penta coordinated silicate structure because the silicon is joined with uh, one two and the three methyl group that means it is a penta coordinated intermediate structure and in the next state what will happen we can see that uh, uh, you can see that uh, this bond this bond this bond breaks from silicon silicon and it will be migrated between these two carbon simultaneously what will happen the oc bond breaks from carbon and it will be shifted to here and we get we get a structure like this okay here it is uh, OH and here it is OH and what will come here here is a double bond okay the rest of the the rest of the part is as it is no change so you can see that when you treat with a base the double bond is coming between SIME3 and this OH group because here it is in elimination is occurring and uh, we get uh, this uh, alkene okay uh, that means the double bond is coming in between these two clear uh, okay in the second case uh, the, the first case is over, we are getting this product and in the second case we can see that uh, the same compound is treating with uh, H of uh, hydrogen fluoride hydrofluoric acid in, in presence of water, uh, what is the product, so of course here it is uh, treatment with water, when we are treating uh, uh, beta hydroxy silane with the acid, what type of elimination will occur, anti-elimination will occur, anti-elimination will occur, that means uh, you can see that SIME3, this SIME3 and this OH group, they are anti to each other, this is above the plane and uh, below the plane, that means uh, this OH group and SIME3 are anti to each other, therefore here the reaction is occurring between, the elimination is taking place uh, this OH group and SIME3. So let us go through the mechanism. So again, I am showing only this part of the compound here. OH, uh, no change, and the OH is here. OH, and here you can see that uh, SIME3, SIME3, SIME3. Okay, here it is. Uh, SIME3 is here, and here you can see that uh, here is a uh, OH. Here is a uh, OH. Okay, when you treat with uh, uh, acid, what is the first step? This acid, uh, uh, this OH group or the lone pair electron present on this oxygen will abstract. Okay, here it is H plus, HF, here it is H plus, will abstract this uh, uh, proton, will abstract the proton and what we get? Here it is H, H plus from acid, the lone pair electron will abstract the proton from the acid and we get uh, we get, uh, we are getting a structure like this, okay, here it is our uh, uh, OH and here it is uh, SIME3, SIME3 is here and here you can see that uh, this uh, bond is uh, become OH2 plus, OH2 plus, okay, OH2 plus, okay, that means, uh, that means uh, the lone pair electron of uh, OH group abstract uh, uh, proton from HF and it is getting OH2 and in the next step and in the next step we can see that uh, we can see that uh, H2O this H2O molecule this H2O and the lone pair electron present on this oxygen again there is an interaction between vacant d orbital of SI and uh, lone pair electron of uh, oxygen present in water that means uh, this will uh, the lone pair electron of uh, oxygen will be attracted towards the vacant d orbital of SI then what will happen then what will happen? This bond that this is a simultaneous uh, or a concerted mechanism. This is attacking the vacant d orbital. The bond breaks from SI and it is shifting to here. Then what will happen? The leaving group minus H2O. So what is uh, what is minus H2O? H2O is eliminated and we get a structure like this. Okay, here uh, the double bond comes. Okay, here the double bond comes and here you can see that uh, here it is our uh, uh, points. Okay. This is the uh, product, this is the product when we are treating with the uh, acid. Okay, this way you have to understand the mechanism of uh, Peterson origination. Clear? Another example. Okay. Look at here. You have given a compound like this or a question like this okay here you can see that uh, okay and it is treated with uh, si me3 ch2 ch2 li si me3 ch2 li 
okay so i am e3 c h2 l i followed by treatment with uh, uh, one okay what you will get then the product is treated with uh, uh, hf and uh, h2o okay then what is uh, what, what, what do we, what will you get okay so let us go through the mechanism you can see that uh, uh, the okay there it is a uh, keto on group keto group and you can see that uh, me3 me3 si ch2 li means here is a carbon lithium carbon uh, lithium bond that means uh, uh, carbon metal bond so ch2 minus and of course uh, li plus okay correct uh, this way uh, th this is like this ch2 minus and uh, li plus because the uh, carbon is joined with the uh, metal so ch2 minus and li plus then what will happen this ch2 minus this will attack on this carbonyl carbon this bond is migrating to oxygen so what we get uh, we get okay we get okay here uh, followed by hydrolysis followed by hydrolysis and uh, here it is h2o okay uh, let me like that okay uh, okay here what we are getting here it is like this okay here it is uh, okay here what will come here it is uh, okay here it is uh, ch2 ch2 2 okay ch2 and uh, sime3 ch2 this is ch2 and sime3 and what is coming here here it is uh, o minus and uh, followed by hydrolysis means it will change into oh is it clear okay ch2 minus is attacking then it is will change into o minus o minus on hydrolysis means it will change into oh so this part uh, this is the answer for uh, this uh, uh, a a is this one okay a now what is b we are going to b then when it is treated with a HF, HF followed by H2O, HF followed by H2O, as we have discussed earlier, when uh, OH group, this is beta hydroxyacetylene group, and uh, this OH is treating with uh, acid, so what will happen, the lone pair of electron of OH group will abstract uh, H plus ion from the acid, and we get, we get a structure like this, okay, here it is, uh, okay, okay. Right, and here it is uh, uh, SiMe3, SiMe3, and here it is uh, OH2 plus OH2, OH2 plus. And in the next step, as we have discussed, what is that? Here the H2O, this H2O oxygen lone pair electron will attack on the uh, vacant d orbital of Si. Then what will happen? Uh, this bond breaks from Si and it will be shifted to here. Simultaneously, the water molecule will be eliminated. So minus H2O minus H2O and SiMe3 or H2O that part also uh, eliminated and what we get we get the structure like this okay here it is like this okay here it is uh, what will come here here is a double bond okay okay here is a exocyclic uh, double bond we are getting okay this is the answer for us clear okay Uh, okay, another uh, C3H7, okay, C3H7 or uh, uh, SI, okay, SI, SI ME3, SI ME3, uh, CH, C3H7, okay, CH, uh, OH, and uh, uh, C3H7, okay, okay, here it is, uh, uh, okay, so here it is uh, uh, treating with uh, here you are treating with uh, sodium hydride NaH and here you are treating with uh, H2SO4 or H2O. Okay, what is the answer for uh, here and here? Okay, then how will you know that? Uh, so first you have to identify this is alpha, alpha, and this one is beta, beta hydroxyacetylene. Uh, okay, in the beta position there is OH group and here it is SI ME3 or SI R. Three, that means uh, beta hydroxyacetylene. Of course, uh, this will give Peterson origination, and you can see that the Peterson reaction. And we can see that the first is A, yeah, that means that is a reaction with uh, sodium hydride with a base, and the this one is uh, uh, second product. We are getting B by the reaction with the acid. And uh, when it reacts with the base, what will happen? Syn elimination will occur, and we get. Uh, uh, trans product and we get a uh, trans alkene that means uh, what alkene you are getting trans alkene means uh, you are getting a structure like this here is C3H7 here also C3H7 when treating with uh, NAH that means uh, this is base 
what type of elimination cis elimination will occur and what type of product you are getting trans alkene you are getting trans alkene when it is reacting with the acid what type of uh, uh, anti elimination will occur anti elimination will occur and what will you get you are getting uh, cis product that means uh, c3 c3 h7 and here also c3 h7 okay okay here also c3 h Okay, this is cis product. Okay, when treated with uh, uh, acid, you are getting uh, cis and uh, 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 okay, cis and here it is uh, trans. Okay, and uh, uh, this is sin elimination. Sin elimination that means from the same side uh, elimination, and uh, we get uh, trans product. And uh, this is anti elimination. We get uh, cis product. Okay, so. Uh, that's all about uh, Peterson refination and thank you.